G'day and welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Today we are looking at June 16th, 2025's number five is alive by Clover. Clover's one of us those here at Gas HQ, so my my name is Bill Murphy. G'day, how you all doing? Uh I am having an absolute blast. Um no, that's a lie. I'm coming down with something. Uh and Lord help me. I need a limb sit before bed. Uh, because I have a full week of teaching ahead of me. So, uh, we are Gas, genuinely approachable Sudoku. We create, oh, uh, for those of you who like my cool outfits, uh, this is my jumper for today. It's a cat doing the scream. Um, we are Gas, genuinely approachable Sudoku. We create, set, and solve genuinely approachable Sudoku for you, the person watching this. You will find a link to today's puzzle in the description down below. You will also find hat times. Uh, two hats for a very fast time. One hat is for a pretty fast time. And everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you all equally. And yeah, sorry about the, you have solved this puzzle. Uh, I hate to break to that one guy who seems really mad about pre uh, us solving these puzzles, but we need to actually test them before we put them out into the universe, gang. Uh, and that's how I can tell you that today's puzzle is an absolute banger. This is one of my favorite gas puzzles in a while. Uh, it's number five is live by Clover. So what does that mean? It means normal Sudoku rules apply. Each box, each row, and each column must contain the digits one to nine once each. Now, once we've got that sorted, what do we have to think about? We have to think about killer cages. Now, each cage, digits cannot repeat within this cage, but also within each cage, the sum of the digits ends in a five. So it's either five, 15, 25, 35, or 45. Uh, we physically cannot get to anything higher than 15 in this puzzle, uh, which is definitely very useful because none of these are higher than three cell cages. Um, but that being said, I'm going to get into it now. Let's get going. So, uh, one needs four to make five, one and four, two and three, two and three. Uh, nine needs six and six. So... This is three, seven, eight, and five. Now, uh, the total there is 23. So if I subtract eight, it becomes 15. So that's an eight. Uh, three here makes that three. This is seven and five. Cool. That's, that's sort of the... Yes, that, I, I had to double check that. But yes, that's the warm up for this puzzle. Now... Uh, we have to do some more stuff. Now, like I said, we can't get to 25. Why can't we get to 25? Because the highest I can make a three cell cage is seven and nine. Uh, but what that actually means is I know that if it's a two cell cage and it's not one, two, three, four, it's probably going to be something to 15. All of my three cell cages cannot sum to five, so they all have to sum to 15. Because I've got an eight here, I need to make this equal seven. So it can't be one and six, and it can't be three and four, so it must be two and five. We've got a two here, so that's a five and a two. So we're going seven, five. Now, three here can't be five again, so it has to be 15. Needs 12. Now, it can't be 7 and 5, and it can't be 3 and 9, so it must be 4 and 8. We've got a 4 here, which puts 4 there, 8 there. Uh, 1 and 2, uh, and this is 6 and 9. Now, uh, if this was a 9, this would have to be, uh, that would make 11, which would need a 4. So it can't do that, so that's a 6 and that's a 7. We'll go at nine here. Uh, if this was a one, this would equal five, and I could put nothing in that cell to make that work. So this needs to be two and nine. All right, now, uh, this is the part where the puzzle gets a touch harder for memory, but uh, not just yet. So this five needs 10, really needs 10 in those two cells. Can't be 9 and 1, can't be 4 and 6, can't be 2 and 8, so it has to be 3 and 7. 3 here is going to tell me how that goes. And then over here, uh, 4 needs 11, can't be 4, 7, can't be 2, 9, can't be 5, 6, so it has to be 3 and 8. So I have to put a 3 there and an 8 there. Uh, this is a naked single 1, 
uh, because it can't be nine and a five in that row. So we can put a five, nine pencil mark in there. This is a six and an eight. Uh, we can unwind that. That's pretty nice. Uh, so, uh, five has to be in one of these two cells. And now that we know five has to be in the cage, we know everything else needs to be uh needs to sum to 15. so 5 plus 10 will make that 15. can't be 3 7 can't be 4 6 can't be 2 8 this is a 1 5 9 cage uh we can, and now this 2 7 2 and 7 can't go in these two cells so it has to go down here uh 3 and 4 this one over here is a 1 and a 9 uh two six makes that's a seven that's two six a six uh three and four we have the three over here uh take the nine out take the one out take the five out uh where does five go in row four can't go in one of those two cells so it has to go here five wee, wee, wee. that's a five that's a... still having troubles uh moving from one laptop to another uh, what does five go up here? Five's got to go there, and that's an eight. One and eight. Uh, seven goes there, and that's a six. Uh, all right. I've got two cages left. Uh, one, four, and nine. Do I know? Do I? Oh, one, four, and nine. That's a very interesting phrase to say out loud, Bill. Uh, four and one both see those two cells, making them nine. This can no longer be a six because nine and six make 15 and this would have to be 10. So this is two and six, uh, meaning this cell has to be a four and a one. Uh, six, four, seven, uh, eight and nine. Bounce that back, five and nine. Uh, this is two and six, uh, eight and one is nine. So that's a six, that two, seven, two. Uh, this is now six and one. Uh, I don't know how those five and seven go, but I will in a second, eight and seven, five and seven, five and two. God, I really love that puzzle. It's just a really amazing construction. Uh, I don't know how Clover does it. Um, drop a question mark if you're also wondering in the comments how she does it on such a regular basis. Uh, that being said, this has been, uh, June 16th, 2025's Number 5 is Alive by Clover. Uh, my name is still Bill Murphy. Uh, wherever you are in the world, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And I will catch you next time. Bye.